Hi, in this episode I want to talk about Kyugi's styles and style sharing. Information about this new Kyugi's uh, style sharing platform has already been presented by Tim Sutton on his YouTube channel. But by doing it also on this channel, I hope that we can reach even more people uh, that can start sharing their Kyugi styles. If you go to the Kyugi's uh, web page uh, and click on for users in the top menu, you will get uh, a link to a plugins site and it's another uh, web server and on this site there is now also a styles section uh, here you can in similar fashion like with plugins you can look for preview and download styles for QGIS so you get uh, nice preview image, some information about it, and you can also download the XML file. So let's save that. In QGIS, let's see, you then go to your settings and style manager. And in the GUI, there are this icon, um, in quite a few locations and whenever you click that you will come to the style manager so here's one button in the menu uh, in the lower left of this uh, window you have the import export function so here you can choose to export items and you can import items if you import items you get the dialog and since we have download a file that's what we need to select and I also need to go to my downloads there's the file open it and each file can contain more than one style so I need to select the styles I want to import and then click import I can also choose not to import embedded tags and name it something else and I can also choose to add it to my favorites and then I click import I already have this so I say no and uh, then hopefully I have that style available to me from QGIS so whenever I do a map I now have the option to select that style from my style menu like that and uh, here's also one shortcut to the style manager if you want to export a style you uh, just select export items and then you select the items you want to export and you can select more than one but for now it's encouraged just to do it one at a time uh, if they are uh, closely related styles then uh, i think it's okay to bundle them up into a style file so i select my style here and i export i name it something not that important then I also need um, an image so let's find it here and take a uh, A screenshot should be roughly square like that perhaps and save that as well and we go back to the page and here 
uh, in the top left there is an upload button uh, and unless you have an account you need to go to the OSGEO web portal and apply for an account so here you click create and then you get an in instruction it's not very straightforward because they have had some issues with fake accounts so you need to verify that the email you are sending your request from actually is valid so reference a web page company web page or a twitter handle or something that OSGEO uh, can verify that this email address actually is valid and you also should uh, put some information in the email on uh, why do you need an account. So, for instance, uh, I need an OSGU user ID because I want to be able to upload QGIS styles and share them with the community. And my webpage, blah, 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 etc. So, some uh, information about who you are and why you want a user ID and then you will get a reply when they have uh, read this and verified it and that reply will uh, get you a mantra that you will put into this box and that will activate your account uh, so when you are here and logged in you can select your uh, let's see your style xml and your thumbnail image like that and you should also type in a brief description when you upload your style you will get this waiting review and uh, someone will look at your uploads and approve them uh, and if they see something that needs to be fixed they will get back to you so you have a chance to update or fix your uh, updates uh, i will not keep this i will delete it yes i want to do it and on this page you can uh, sort by name type uh, popularity or downloads uh, who has created them and when the upload time was and if you are logged in you can also go to your own uploads and edit the information uh, you can even upload a new uh, modified or updated style xml if you want that eventually this style library uh, hopefully it will grow as you uh, contribute with your styles um, and eventually it will be incorporated into the QGIS uh, interface some way uh, it could be on the starting page or it could be in directly in the style manager or I don't know but in some way it will be searchable uh, from inside QGIS and uh, you will probably be able to download directly from this resource uh, to your uh, application uh, but for now uh, this is what we have uh, styles resources and uh, I really encourage you to uh, uh, upload your styles uh, so it doesn't have to be a really extremely complex style uh, like this one it, it could be something that uh, you just happen to stumble on by chance and uh, thought that eh, this is nice I, I want to share this and uh, then I, I suggest you upload it so, if you already have an OSGEO um, user ID, I suggest you look through your styles you are using and upload any styles that you think that this is 
uh, shareable. Uh, and if you don't have a user ID you, uh, and you have styles you want to share, then you should apply for an ID so you, you can upload them. That is all for this video and I uh, hope to see a lot of new styles in the uh, coming weeks. See you next time!